just a review from last time, what we're trying to figure out here is how to generate a random dungeon. And we're going to represent a dungeon like a floor plan. Uh, and we want it to be randomly generated. So something, something like this might be what we're going for. It's got a bunch of different rooms of different sizes. Eventually we'll have doors between each room, but we're going to do that later. So this would be an example floor plan. And anytime you want to create something that's kind of complex with code, you have to think about what your data will look like. So this is a, a lesson about data, and in particular data structures. As I mentioned previously, this whole video series is an advanced tutorial, but I'm going to give you a quick primer on it anyway. So data can be simple, or it can be complex. And examples of simple data are things like numbers, strings, and booleans. And complex data is anything that takes some simple data and puts it together into something that's more structured. So it basically, basically combines simple data together. So for example, you might have a number like the number one, that's simple. But now what if you wanna have lots of numbers together like the number one, and then the number one, and then the number two, and the number three, and the number five. This is the Fibonacci sequence, and this is now a list of numbers. So instead of just having one number, we have a list, and a list is one of the many kinds of complex data types. Notice how a list combines together some simple data.